Hi everyone, it's Laura here for Pink Your Life and in today's video I'm going to share with you how to create an ocean scene with a watercolor-like look using stamps by Pink Your Life and Zikling Color Wheel brush markers. The stamp set I will be using today is by an Italian brand called Pink Your Life. The set itself is called Deep Blue Ocean and was designed by an amazing illustrator. She is also Italian and is called Laura Cortinovis. She is an amazing illustrator and a very talented watercolorist. And I am not, so I wanted to show you today how to achieve a watercolor-like look using Zikling Color Rio brush markers. These are water-based markers and are a more controlled way to add this type of watercolor feel to your cards. So we're going to see how to color these images using this medium. I started by doing some stamping on Bristol Smooth Cardstock by Strathmore with Scrapbook.com Premium Hybrid Black Ink. This ink will not react with water and the reason why I used Bristol Smooth Cardstock is that it's very easy to get a nice blend with Zikrin Color Real Brush Markers. And the reason why I used Bristol Smooth Cardstock by Strathmore is that this cardstock has a smooth coating on top, which makes blending your Zikling Color Rio brush markers really easy. These markers, as I mentioned already, are water-based and they can be blended with each other or with water. And today, in order to add a little bit of shading and dimension to my images, I'm going to use two colors, one for my shadows and the other one for my mid-tone. And then I'm going to blend them out with water using a water brush. So I went ahead and started coloring this beautiful mermaid. I am adding the shadows to the left side of the image and blending them out towards the right. So there is where I have my highlights. And I also wanted to show you an easy way to color in the hair. I know that coloring hair can get a little bit daunting sometimes, especially if you're not very comfortable with the flicking motions that are required to create the texture in the hair. But today I wanted to show you an easy way to color the hair and I'm going to basically exploit the many lines that were drawn by the illustrator here on the mermaid's hair. I am basically taking the darkest marker and I am tracing those lines. That's all I'm doing, there is nothing fancy here going on. Then I'm going to take the second marker that I chose, this will be my mid-tone, and I'm going to start blending that turquoise out leaving a little bit of space because I am going to then come in with my water brush and blend everything out and basically fill in the highlights too. So you see the result is really pretty even if the coloring did not require any special technique. Here I went a little bit outside the line while coloring the top of her swimsuit but I wanted to show you that it's pretty easy to fix a mistake like that. What I did was I added some water to the areas where I had the color bleeding through and then I basically dabbed the water off with a microfiber cloth. For the little star in her hair and in her hand I used some warm yellows and a light blue for the water bubble that she's holding. I then went ahead and colored the rest of the images. I'm using this blue-gray to add shadows to the whale and then I'm going to blend it out with a light gray marker. You saw I have the markers that I used listed on screen for you, so you can use that as a reference. And then again I'm coming in with my water brush and I am blending everything out. The coloring didn't take too long because Zikling Color Your Brush Markers do actually make coloring pretty quick. And I decided to leave all the coloring in apart from the fish on the top because I didn't end up using it on my card. I am now going to leave you with some music while I finish coloring the images. I hope you'll enjoy watching me color and I'll come back when it's time to work on my background.
this point all the images were colored and cut out and I could go ahead and start working on my ocean background. I'm going to use again Zikling Color Rio brush markers for this on a sheet of Bristol Smooth cardstock by Strathmore that I die cut with a stitched rectangle die. I picked three different blue markers and you can see that I am adding this wavy pattern to the background. I know that right now this doesn't look like the best ocean background you have seen, but trust me it will be much nicer once we go ahead and add water. I'm using a flat brush to basically first activate the paints. So I am using the same wavy motions to add water where I have the brush strokes from the Zikling Color Real Brush Markers. And then again using that same brush I'm coming in with horizontal motions and I'm dragging the water and the pigment from the bottom towards the top of my panel. I wanted to add a little bit of depth to the lower portion of my background so I added the darkest blue marker and then I blended that out again. And then to add even more texture and a little bit of extra color to the background I just basically swiped the markers across the panel and again I blended everything out with this damp flat paintbrush. I added a few extra touches and then I dried everything with my heat gun. You could leave your paper to air dry but because I was eager to finish up the card I decided instead to speed up the drying process with the heat gun. As you can see I am applying the heat from the front and the back because I am trying to minimize warping. But in doing this, because my work surface was not clean, I got a few stains on my background. I definitely did not want to start over again, so I used some images to cover up that mistake and nobody will ever know. I stamped the sentiment using again premium hybrid black ink by scrapbook.com directly on the background and then I could go ahead and start adhering my images. When I create scene cards I like to arrange all the images on my background first and then once I'm happy with the positioning I can go ahead and actually glue them down to the paper. And sometimes I take a snapshot with my phone so that I have a reference to use before going ahead and gluing down the images. As a finishing touch to create the look of water bubbles I added some Nouveau drops in Morning Dew. I added them so that they are really tiny and they add a subtle detail without taking away too much attention from the card. I left the Nouveau drops to dry and then I mounted everything on a top folding A2 card base cut at 4 and a quarter by 11 inches and scored at 5 and a half inches and that finished off my card. And here is the finished result. I really love the style of these illustrations and I think that the watercolor like look that we achieved today suits them really nicely. And that's it for today. If you guys enjoyed this video please let me know in the comments below, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. You can visit my blog for the full list of supplies and I'll catch you guys soon with the next one. Ciao!